I forgot the lid was on. <laughs> This is Terri Ann Coombs coming at you from the channel Conscious Being, where I inspire you to become conscious about your nutritional needs through holistic nutrition. This is my best friend Chelsea. Hello. <laughs> We're here today to inspire you guys to get Halloween in style. We're going to show you guys how to make pumpkin puree from actual pumpkins. These guys were only $2 in my local store, so there's no excuses on trying this recipe. Have you ever made pumpkin puree? Uh, no, I have not. I have not. <laughs> okay, well, it's the first time for both of us, so we're going to have fun doing this. Um, Halloween is definitely one of Chelsea's favorite times of year, and this is why I invited her along to join me on this journey of Halloween. Um, what is your favorite thing about Halloween? Uh, it's really spooky. <laughs> And I'm a big spookster. She's a big spookster. <laughs> Into the spook sometimes. It's fun, it's good. And you're also plant-based recently. I am vegan, but uh, I've been vegetarian before that for about 13 years. 13 years. So this recipe is right up your alley. This is. Um, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be really fun. And we're going to actually make another recipe after with the pumpkin puree. A little bit of a treat for you guys. We won't reveal what it is yet, um, but we will we like you treats. Know. We do like treats. We've got to treat ourselves. It is Halloween. So what we're going to do um, to get this pumpkin in the oven is we're just going to cut it in half. And it's going to be really simple, really quick. Um, I already have the oven preheated to 400 degrees. And I'm going to give you the honors. Are you sure you trust me with the knife? I think you got this. I think you got this. We'll, we'll, uh, okay. we'll definitely enjoy it. Okay. So cut it in half. Anyway, from the top to the bottom, so if it's easier, oh um, it might be a good trick just to cut the bottom bit off here so that you've got a stable base. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm gonna say that. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Alright, so now we have the, the flat surface. We're gonna cut. Stay cheap, stay with the knife, <laughs> down to the board, and then we'll flip it around. And now because it's a easy surface, it's going to be a safe surface. Sort of. <laughs> no, sure. no real blood on this episode, please. <laughs> okay. All right, and then we'll just pull it apart. Oh yeah. Whee! And actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, it's gross, right? We're gonna okay, save like the seeds and we're gonna make something out of those later as well. These beautiful seeds. <laughs> These are really, really nutritious, so don't ever throw them away. And I will show you guys what to do with them on another episode. So stay tuned. While Chelsea gets this pumpkin ready for the oven by coating it in some coconut oil, which is a great cooking oil, I'm going to let you know about some nutrition facts of pumpkins. Pumpkins are a winter squash and contain a really high amount of carotenoid antioxidants. They're actually the highest containing food of this specific antioxidant, which makes it a really great anti-inflammatory supporting food. These enzymes, along with a great amount of fiber will aid in digestion and healing. They also promote great blood sugar regulation through the nutrients folate, pantheothentic acid, and vitamins B1, B3, and B6. Isn't that great? All right, so we're ready for the oven and we're going to bake this from between 35 to 45 minutes, depending on the pumpkin. Ready to go. <laughs> All right. <Ta> <laughs> <laughs> Look what we have here. We did it. We actually roasted a whole giant pumpkin. Never done that before. I've never done it either. And uh, Chelsea was making a really good point. We don't really eat a lot of pumpkin. Well, I don't. No, I do usually just carve them. Yeah, right? <laughs> but it's really good. It's really good. <laughs> really tasty. So we um, roasted them until they're soft and we're going to scoop the inside out right now, pop it in this bowl, and then we're going to blend it. And this is how we make puree. Right in there. Oh yeah. It's easy to scoop. Look at that. It looks just like a butternut squash. Yeah. I'm gonna get rid of some. 
Oh yeah. So hot. Oh. <laughs> well, we should have waited a little longer. Yeah, it's cool. Living on the edge. I feel like we could really get a lot out of these. Yeah, right? This is gonna last us a while. Let's do a couple more pumpkin spice recipes. <laughs> We're really scraping these down. Oh, yeah. Right to the skin. Awesome. And then they're hot. I think that's pretty damn good. Yeah. I think it's perfect. It's a little bit more. It's oh. <laughs> sliding away. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. So next, what we have to do <laughs> is use the good old blender. All right, Shells, we actually got to the final part of this amazingly easy recipe. Yeah, it was actually really easy. Right? <laughs> I had no idea how easy, and I'm never gonna buy it from a can again. We save eating those preservatives, and those yep. things are carcinogenic to us, so they actually create lots of diseases. So having homemade puree lying around, we're gonna make so much good stuff. Hell yeah, we are. Hell yeah, we are. So. so Puree right. beast going or what? Yeah. Let's get this on. She can actually cook, she underestimates <laughs> her powers, Thank she's you. very, very cool. And uh, if you like the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe. And next Wednesday, we're going to be back and we're going to show you what to do with this pumpkin puree. So don't forget. See you next time. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye.